Hey, are you a business owner, entrepreneur, or professional? If so, we want you to apply to be a featured guest on our show. My name is Adam Torres, and I host the Mission Matters series of podcasts. I've recorded over 3,000 episodes, and we are just getting started. How do you know if you'd be a good guest to be on the show? Well, only one way to find out, and that's to apply, but I'm going to let you in on a little secret. We want guests that have a story to tell, guests with a brand, a product, or a service that can benefit my audience of listeners. If this sounds like you, go to missionmatters.com and click on Be Our Guest to Apply. I'd love to talk to you and get to know more about your story. Again, head on over to missionmatters.com and click on Be Our Guest to Apply. All right, now let's get into the show. Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Mission Matters. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of our upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Stephen Mitchley on the line, and he's Chief Strategy Officer over at the Vitality Group. Stephen, welcome to the show. Hey, Adam. Great to be here. All right, so uh, excited to get into today's topic. We are going to talk about building a healthy workforce and, uh, and you know, how we can do that. But before we get started with that, uh, I'll start off by saying we at Mission Matters amplify stories for entrepreneurs, executives, and experts. Um, Stephen, what mission matters to you? Sure, thanks, Adam. Um, you know, I joined the, the company about 21 years ago, and as a, as a young engineer getting out of engineering, joining a healthcare company, I was attracted by the company's core purpose, which was the time to make people healthier. Um, it's, it's been changed a little bit, um, with a, a little bit more of a tagline around um, protecting their, their lifestyles, but just the simple idea that um, you could have a good day and a bad day, and at the end of the day, you look back and you think, well, the purpose was to make people healthier. It really has stood for me the test of time. Like I said, I've been here 21 years. Whenever we engage with um, new partners, um, new team members, we always come back to that core purpose. And if you can subscribe to that, it really does form a, a common framework for what we're trying to achieve. Yeah, that's awesome, Stephen. And love bringing mission-based businesses um, to my to my core audience out there. So this is great. Um, let's just to get us kicked off. I mean, uh, so what is Vitality doing really to uh, build a healthy workforce? So tell us a little bit more about the company. Yeah, sure. So um, you know, we're a global company. We're in 26 markets, about 20 million members on the platform. Um, has its roots in health insurance. Has expanded into life insurance as well. Here in the U.S., um, we've, we've taken that capability and really tried to assist um, self-funded um, employers in their objectives within the healthcare setting. So what Vitality does is, is it really rewards people for making healthy choices today, knowing that those choices lead to them committing to goals, leading, leading to healthier lifestyles, healthier uh, behavior in the long term. So uh, you know, we really do specialize in, in smart precision incentives and centered around what the, the individual needs. So they personalize, they really focus on that particular individual, but also in the context of what the what the broader company is trying to achieve as well. So tell us a little bit more about the about the the platform and how it works. Um, like maybe maybe some of the user experience things, because a lot of business owners, entrepreneurs, executives out there, a lot of executives that you know are in those decision making um, positions and thinking about different platforms to bring to their workforce. I mean, tell us a little bit more about how how the platform works. Yeah, um, sure. Um, there's a couple of variants. Um, the the fuller platform um, is a bit like I, I described it a bit like a a frequent flyer program where the the miles that you're earning, the points that you're earning are, are driven by your healthy actions, healthy outcomes. So if you can imagine you're playing a, a game through the year, you're, you're doing healthy things, you're making healthy choices, you're exercising, and as a result, you get um, points. The points become status, and the higher the status, the better the value that you extract from the program. So that, that um, principle works very well for us. We also have a um, a simplified product, which which really um, focuses on um, small rewards for for healthy activities, so less complex, um, I think, easier to engage with. But in general, um, how the, these programs work is you try and 
catch somebody where they're at and give them alternatives to what they're doing today with little micro nudges on a day-to-day basis around the choices and the goals that they're trying to achieve. Um, so, you know, we I think we all have appreciation that it's easy to to think about things in the future that you could be doing, and it's, it's actually pretty darn difficult to mm-hmm. actually take action today. So, the, the problem that we see is it's it's really simple to go to the doctor because you know you don't really see the price yourself, the, the health plan health plan pays for that, but you do get um, palliative care right there and then. You get a pill, you get um, you know your your sickness is alleviated. But wellness is a little different. I mean, you, you actually have to invest up front, and it's painful. You have to go for that run. You have to, to you know, push away the, the sugar. But the benefits are actually in the long term, and it's difficult for people to relate to that. So um, we try to make um, that, that whole environment really simple to relate to, easy to understand, and then provide incentives for the right actions. Tell me a little bit more about the shared value business model and really how that links corporate success to, um, I mean, because as you just mentioned, to public well-being, because essentially when it comes to healthcare, and I, I'm guilty, so I'm going to pick on myself here, like I don't want to deal with it. And these micro nudges, if it wasn't for the Fitbit on my, on my wrist telling me, Adam, meditate right now, or Adam, stand up, get 250 steps, I need micro nudges in my life, Stephen, I'm not going to lie. So like, tell me a little bit more about how that share value business model works, because I think corporations and public well-being can be on the well on the same side of, ta- of, of the table, so to speak, and that's exactly what you're doing. Yeah, 100%. I mean, I, I think the whole shared value concept, you know, sh- shared value is a, um, a phrase coined by Michael Porter. And he actually cites vitality as a leader in this, uh, this mindset. So if you think about um, um, health care or, or even life insurance, um, a health insurer or a life insurer or even a, a company who's paying ultimately for the health insurance, they they really want you to be healthier. They generally want you to be healthier, even even for, aside from altruistic um, reasons, you know, as a, mm-hmm. a team member employed by them. At, at the, the end of the day, if you're unhealthy, they're going to pay more for your health. So there's there's real incentive for the employer to have a healthy workforce. As an individual, there's obviously an incentive for you to be, be healthy. I mean, the, the benefits of health are, uh, are you more vibrant, you, you have more vitality. However, sometimes, you know, we don't, we don't put that top, top of mind. So what, what the model says, why don't you take some of the value that you create by being healthier, by improving your health? So the value is created um, in the, the, the insurance um, risk pool. Why don't we take some of that value and give it back to you? So it's a bit like those, those programs in car insurance where, if you if you drive well, you're getting cash backs. So actually, the, the concept of having a cash back for making healthier actions. That's really what Vitality is. You you're sharing the value that's created by these um, these healthier actions and healthier behaviour with the person who's actually committing them. So we we really give powerful incentives for for healthier behaviour and you know it's self funding for the the employer because. They're not seeing the, the heavy candy experience and, and claims drag. And the program really does work across um, you know, all sets of life. It's, we've seen it works for white collar, blue collar. It works for males, females. It works for, for people who've got um, comorbidities or risks attached to them, as well as the, the young and healthy. So for everyone, there is a benefit, an ultimate benefit that cal- can be calculated to being healthier. And the idea of shared value is that everybody shares in the value that is created. What does it take for an employer to create one of these incentivized um, programs? Like, how hard is it? You know, I think for, for many insurers, uh, for many employers, sorry, it, it, it is mm-hmm. pretty difficult. It's, it's a very fragmented um, environment. There's a lot of point solutions. Um, you know, you have to pick themes that you want to tackle. Often you, you, you kind of go to the lowest denominator and say, well, everyone has to go and exercise. But you know that... Mm-hmm. That's not really driving your your claims expense. You know, the, you can't um, have a laser focus on just the di- diabetics or just those pre diabetes. It's it, it is pretty complex. And I think what what we bring to the table to to assist with that is um, both both um, a strategic approach, so strategic support and understanding what the needs of the employer population is, and a high degree of data-driven personalization, so being able to nudge people for what, what is really important for them, as opposed to just 
you know, the broader, the broader group. Um, making that fun and sophisticated, because let's be honest, you, you don't really engage in, in health. I mean, I, I think most people understand that you engage in a health system when you're sick. But that's not the only time that you should be engaging in health. I mean, you should be, be um, making sure that you're registered with your PCP, for instance. It's not something that everyone does. Um, you should be trying to live a healthier lifestyle. That's not really engaging. Traditionally, it's engaging in health. Engagement in health is, you know, filling a script, going to the doctor. And the rest of the time, you, you hope not to think about that. So what we try and do is make, make this more of a cultural issue and make it fun and, and exciting um, for the, the individual uh, participating. And then what we also try and do is pull in a, a range of partners that are important to that employer into a really well-knitted um, environment, well, uh, well-organized and um, uh, curated environment. Uh, yeah, and a lot of the partners are exciting brands like Apple, like um, Garmin, um, as well as just um, a lot of the digital um, solutions that are out there. Except instead of having to do a whole bunch of point solutions, it's all brought together within in one one portal, one gateway, which is uh, the Vitality program with its um, its product pieces that, that underpins. Fantastic. Okay, so Stephen, final question. This will be a two-part question. Um, so question one, um, what are the type of employers you typically like working with or I should say um, find are a good fit? Is this only for like large enterprise clients? Are small businesses welcome or are able to use the platform? Like who benefits the most basically from this? Part one and then part two, what's the best way for those uh, business owners and uh, executives to, to connect with you and your team? Sure. Yeah, that's, a, that's a really great question. And I think, I think um, smaller businesses have a, have a sense that lot, really, really large companies have a, um, a, lot of, uh, a lot of steel behind them in their HR departments, et cetera, that can, can help with these, uh, these activities. Um, but the truth is, you know, we've seen Bytesi does work across the full spectrum. Uh, yeah, my personal motto is if you've seen, you've seen one employer, every employer culturally um, is different. But mm-hmm. over time, we've built up a range of solutions that can be applied to the problems that the you know, full, full gambit of employers experience. We, we typically uh, focus on the mid-market to the jumbo market, so very large employers as well as medium-sized employers. But we have partnered with um, benefit management um, folk to provide solutions for, say, under under 1,000, so the, 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 the small end of the market. We, we are able to cater and service that, that market very well. Um, you know, they're, they're, what you're trying to do is make sure that you've got a, a very efficient distribution mechanism and a relationship mechanism that's local to, to that employer. But really, the, the program does work in, in all three other settings, so small group, mid group, and large group. Um, I, I would really encourage folks to go to the Vitality Group and you know, just explore all the, the sort of solutions that we've got. Then contact us button there. And you know, just as, as we're getting out of this uh, what has been a, a really tough period in the COVID. There's a whole bunch of, uh, of materials that are available to employers. They don't, they don't have to be with us around um, how to manage to do COVID. At the moment, there's a lot of materials around going back to work, what you think through um, promoting vaccinations, et cetera. So I'd encourage your, your listeners to go there. At the very worst, you know, you'll pick up some great resources that can help you navigate through, through reopening and getting back to the business of, of working together again. Fantastic. Well, Stephen, really appreciate you coming on the show today and sharing more about your background and all the great work that you're doing over at Vitality. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget, um, hit that subscribe button. We definitely want you to be a return uh, guest and a return visitor. And Stephen, thanks again for coming on the show. It's been a pleasure. Great. Speaking to you, Adam. Take care.